And on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Inclusion Tennis Association, our 1,500 coaches and our 20,000 student athletes, we would like to thank the International Tennis Hall of Fame for hosting this very special ceremony for seven years. We'd like to thank Rolex for his great support in presenting and helping to present the award. And we'd like to thank the president of the USCA for hosting the laureate of the award for the President's Box uh, this afternoon. We'd also like to thank our panelists, it's a very uh, illustrious group of people who make uh, the decision each year. I particularly would like to thank Mark Stanton, CEO of the International Tennis Hall of Fame, for having been one of our panelists since uh, its inception. The ITH Human Award is most likely our most prestigious award, and it goes to an individual who played college tennis, and after playing college tennis, went on to great achievements in his or her career, and also in many ways gave a great deal back to our society. To present the award, it gives me great pleasure to invite Stan Smith, one of the charter members of our panel, and a great friend of college tennis, to present the presentation. Stan. And uh, I've been fortunate to be able to do this for the last 20 years. And this year is uh, another very special award winner. And it's a real honor to present him to all of you. And uh, his name is Roger Crawford. He's been an inspiration to many both on and off the court. Roger played varsity tennis and won 22 matches at Loyal Marymount University in California despite a rare birth defect that had led doctors to believe that he would never be able to walk or perform simple tasks. After college, Roger became a motivational speaker. He went on to be one of the top 200 professional speakers to be honored by the National Speakers Association with a Council of Peers Award for Excellence and was inducted into the Speaker Hall of Fame. Roger has published three books, Playing from the Heart, How Can You Bounce, How High Can You Bounce, and Think Again. This life story was included in the original bestseller, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Sports Illustrated heralded Roger as one of the most accomplished physically challenged athletes in the world. It's a pleasure to introduce the 2013 ITA Achievement Award winner, Roger Crawford. And Roger. Thank you. Joining us, uh, I'd like to ask Stuart Beach, President and CEO of Rolex Watch USA, to join us for a special treat for Roger. And I'd like to, to just remind you to look at this book. I hope you've got it. It, it shows, the, uh, shows a little bit about Roger and also tell us a little about the history of this award and all those honorees in the past. Roger? And Stuart has a special... A special treat. Well, thank you so very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. for that gracious welcome. I am so honored and privileged to be here this morning. Um, I'd like to thank David Benjamin and his fine staff at ITA. I'd also like to thank the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And I was telling Stuart, I said, I'm 52 years of age and I never had a watch before. So I'm starting with a Rolex. It's sort of like your first flight being in first class. So uh, I very much appreciate that. I grew up with a physical challenge that affects all four of my limbs. I guess my youngest daughter, Alexa, describes it best. She says, Daddy, you got a peace sign in one hand and a thumbs up on the other. <laughs> when I was growing up, I remember asking this question. What am I going to do with my life? I mean, I was a lousy piano player. And there were some tasks that I was limited in. But the answer came in the form of a Stan Smith racket and a bat. 
We moved to California from Cleveland, Ohio. I was born in Cleveland. Some people think that's the toughest challenge I had to overcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I spent hours hitting the tennis ball against the backboard. Now, what I would do is I would lay this Dan Smith racket against my right arm, and then I would hold it to my right elbow with my left hand. Now, 2013 Hall of Fame award winner Cliff Drysdale, in commentating, says, a champion has to have his signature or her signature shot. Mine was this, if I swung hard enough, the racket came out of my hand, and if I was fortunate, I would clip my opponent's shins. That was my signature shot. <laughs> but my life changed one day when I walked into Tony's Tennis Barn in Danville, California, and I picked up a Wilson T2000. And my finger got stuck in between the two parallel bars. You can see that bit on the uh, picture there. And I thought, I can do this. I, I can hold the, hold the racket and secure it in my hand. So I went back to the, hitting the balls against the backboard. The owner of that tennis store was a gentleman named Tony Fisher. He was a local tennis pro. He taught many, many Highly ranked junior players, and one day he saw me being against the backboard. He said, Roger, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. He became my coach. He believed in me. He didn't see disability, he saw possibility. Tony has been a, a lifelong friend, and he's here today with his lovely wife, Mickey. And I must say to both of you, I uh, words really cannot express how grateful I am to the influence and significance that you've had in my life. And I love you both very, very much. And so glad you could come here to New York. I then played in high school, Monta Vista in Diego, California. And I saw the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen, Catherine Hill. She's now my wife. We were high school sweethearts, except she didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> And um, Catherine's here today. And I want to tell you something, sweetie. For the longest time, I had so much insecurity about my hands. Thought, you know, how could a beautiful woman like this love a guy like me? Funny looking hands, one leg, half a foot. She taught me that my heart was a lot more important than my hands. And then I went on to Loyola Marymount University. And I was truly fortunate because I had a coach like Jamie Sanchez. Now, I'm sure you can imagine, there were not a lot of college coaches that were clamoring to get a player that was five foot seven, short arms, short legs, a total of three fingers in one leg. But not Jamie Sanchez. He saw beyond that. And he gave me an opportunity. What Jamie Sanchez taught me on the tennis court was meaningful. What he taught me off the court was life changing. He taught me about discipline and commitment. But perhaps most importantly, he taught me about the importance of caring for one another. You see, our, our team at Loyola Learning now, we weren't the best team in college, but I can tell you this, we were the closest team in college. We had lifelong friendships that endure today almost 30 years later. That's the kind of coach James Sanchez was. He's been a coach at Loyola Murray now for 39 years. He's coached thousands and thousands of Roger Crawfords who every day think about what James Sanchez taught them on the court and off. And Jamie's here with his lovely wife, Tammy, today. Jamie, I, uh, a day doesn't go by that I don't think about the incredible influence that you've had on my life, and I just thank you so much for that. The lessons I've learned in the tennis court are many. One that stands out to me is this. Everybody has limitations. I remember playing this gentleman one night, the day in college, I'll never forget it. Throughout the entire match, I wore long warm-up pants. He didn't realize until the match was over that I wore an artificial leg. He took the loss a lot harder than I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody has limitations. My life's not really different than your life. 
But you know what playing tennis taught me? Real limitations can be overcome. <clears throat> it's the imaginary ones in life that really disable us. Something else I learned in tennis is that being a champion doesn't mean that you can be number one in the world or you'll be number one in the world. I look at Stan Smith and I can't believe that I was introduced by one of my heroes. And I have to tell you something, Stan. I've always admired you immensely. And now that I meet you in person, I admire you even more. And finally, my friends, tennis gave me the most important of all human emotions. As a young boy that some of the students at school would point at, laugh, and tease, tennis gave me hope. Gave me hope. Hope that it was something I could point to and say, you know, we're going to call it. That's something you can do. Doesn't matter how many fingers you have. Doesn't matter if you only have one leg and half a foot. You can be a tennis player. Changed my life. As it has for many of you in this room today. Someone asked me this question. Hey, Roger. What do you want written on your tombstone? I thought about it. Here it is. I'd rather be playing tennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want all mine. <laughs> I want to again thank everyone at ITA, the Benjamin is fine staff. What an incredible organization. It made me feel so welcome. And I'm just so honored to receive this award. Stuart Rolex. Notice I didn't say watch Rolex. You are done. Yeah. And I, and I didn't even watch your games of Rolex. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking this Rolex with me just in case they have door prizes or whatever. I'd like to thank the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And I'd also like to thank uh, Stan Smith. I said this earlier, but I want to. Reiterated again, it's uh, to be able to stand next to somebody who was your hero. I mean, who didn't want to be Stan Smith? Stand by your hero and have him present this award is truly an honor. So I thank you very much for this award. It's just been a blessing and an honor to stand before you today. Thank you.